Remember, one of the top stories that we're following up for you is that IEBC is meeting NASA uh, officials to discuss the adopter polling station plan that they have. And let me now engage my panelists here in studio in regards to that. Uh, so I'll start with you, Duncan. Adopter polling station is uh, we had the, pe the person who is, who is really behind it, Joseph Nyeringo, and he's saying that, um, you know, these people who are supposed to be coming to, you know, to the different polling stations, they're supposed to be, you know, aiding, you know, the elderly, and also, at the end of the day, sort of like protect the votes that will be there. Um, what do you think of that, of, of that plan? Because the CS has already come out to say that this is going to be chaotic. Betty, I, there's good reasoning behind uh, the CS's concern, and it's also backed mm -hmm. in law. So the law is clear that uh, around the polling station we should not have idlers. And in fact, it's an offense to actually idle around a polling station. And uh, it is a criminal offense. Uh, such that the key issue will be who will IBC authorize to be there? And that is why NASA mm -hmm. is actually saying mm -hmm. you should authorize at least five of us based on the fact that uh, NASA is a coalition of uh, so many parties. So they think they're entitled to at least five representatives uh, per, per, per polling station. or, But if you look at it keenly, you'll mm -hmm. actually notice that uh, there are places, yes, that NASA may have, all these uh, affiliate parties may have uh, candidates. And as such, they have rights to have their own, own agents. Mm -hmm. Collectively, they are NASA agents. But individually, they represent individual interests. There's no way you can actually bar that without interfering with the right of this particular individual. And that alone is a very good ground for a petition, and the petition will succeed as, good, as, as, uh, as fast as possible. However, where you have one NASA candidate, mm -hmm. but you want to have five agents, there's also a risk there, because the issue of mob psychology, the issue of, the cr of crowding, mm -hmm. uh, is not actually good at that particular stage, and that is what the law tries to avoid. But more importantly, you also find that per polling station, you find there's a polling station, and then there are different streams such that in each stream you also have your agent. So that if they are saying five per polling station, that is even less. Mm. But if it is five per stream, then that will also cause an issue. Because you have places where the streams are, are very small uh, enclosures. You can't even, even the agents themselves cannot fit. All so right. that if you have five, mm -hmm. it will also interfere with the organization of that particular area. All right. Uh, Oliver, do you think NASA's demand, uh, you know, are practical? Because, uh, like, uh, the, C the CEO for uh, IBC and even the commission, the commissions, commissioners have come out to say that, um, you know, some of these stations, are, they're really small. Um, if you have too many people inside, then it becomes, it turns into, you know, you know sort of like a big crowd, you know, sort of like also just um, coming in the way of these uh, polling clerks and everybody who's just trying to to vote. So do you think really that NASA is uh, being practical in some of the demands, especially in places where, like Duncan has said, they don't really have quite a number of candidates from all the five constituent parties? Mm, but interrogating the philosophy behind the adopter polling station, mm -hmm. I don't think at this juncture we are being fair to the IBC. And also, I don't think we, we are trying to overstretch that commission mm -hmm. because when you have for example i'll take an example there is a polling station within eldore town known as mv patel mm -hmm. mv patel is a social hall it's a small hall but the voters registered voters are above ten thousand, and it has around seven streams if you have the number of candidates you have in eldore now and you add now mm -hmm. those five the five adopter polling station agents. What are we having? Mm -hmm. We have now a crowd inside a polling station. We are not, we, we end up killing the main intention why we had those people inside there. Mm -hmm. Another thing, IBC as an independent commission, one of its core objectives under Article 249 of the Constitution is to protect the sovereignty of the people. Mm -hmm. And that sovereignty is exercised through voting and anything that will impair the sovereignty of the people should be curbed and done away with. And I think at this juncture where we are, adopt a polling station is one of those things. Because one, we are overstretched in terms of security. Mm -hmm. We do not have enough security personnel. I have, I have seen the minister, the mm -hmm. acting mm -hmm. CS saying that we'll have two per polling mm -hmm. station. But that is still not enough. We should give this 
commission humble time to conduct an election free and fair. What we should now... I don't think they have time, but... <laughs> yeah, what yeah. we should now be engaging and stressing mm -hmm. is to train the agents to know what, they are, what is their main role as opposed to going to engaging on this adopt a polling station. Secondly, on the issue of adopting a polling station, uh, in every polling station is a, is a gazetted area. And uh, yes, they have a right to assemble under art Article 37, but the same right is limited under Article 24, which means you cannot just assemble. You m by assembling, you might end up preaching the, the, the right of other people to vote, mm -hmm. which is their right. So I think we should, we, we should interrogate it properly, and uh, also we, we, we should borrow lessons right. from Ghana, where it was first implemented. All I right. think that should be the way forward. Felix, what would be the best compromise when it comes to this issue to do with party agents? Well, first of all, we should borrow from Ghana, and I was in Accra mm -hmm. uh, for the last election. And uh, yes, this concept came from uh, Ghana. And uh, if we are to follow that model, mm -hmm. then I'm happy to disagree with my two colleagues that they are not right. Mm -hmm. The right to assembly is not applicable in this uh, instant case. Mm -hmm. This is the concept of adopt a polling station came from Ghana. The neo patriotic party uh, of Ghana, the party of President John Kufo, when they realized that they had actually lost mm -hmm. two simultaneous elections when they were in opposition mm -hmm. uh, to circumstances that are very similar to ours, uh, lack of transparency on the Electoral Commission, and most fundamentally, the interference of the state uh, in the electoral process. So when the new patriotic party came with this, uh, uh, this concept, uh, they had a very robust discussion with the Electoral Commission of Ghana. And the major difference between the Electoral Commission of Ghana and the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission is their ability to give as widest interpretation as possible mm -hmm. to the law. There are two issues here that I think should come out very clearly, especially if you look at how this debate has unfolded in our context yes. in Kenya. Yeah. One, is the Cabinet Secretary for Interior right when he summons the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission and make directives and declarations that touches or at the heart of the election? That is the first question. Mm -hmm. The answer is that is wrong. And uh, the Constitution in Article 88 mm -hmm. and the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission Act of 2011 is explicit that in the discharge of its function, or let me put it different. The Constitution and the IBC Act gives the Commission functional, fiscal, and administrative autonomy. Mm -hmm. And uh, what it means that in the discharge of its function, nobody should speak on its behalf. The IBC had not even pronounced itself on this issue. Mm -hmm. The Interior Cabinet Secretary went ahead and issued directives. So it was wrong. It was in violation of both the Constitution mm -hmm. and the IBC Act. Secondly, the security personnel, the one or two policemen attached at the polling station on election day, the chain of command emanates from the presiding officer, not the inspector general of police. Mm -hmm. This is the law. In other words, the inspector general of police cannot issue a declaration yes. that arrests people in Kibera. Mm -hmm. It's the presiding officer that is given that power. And so the presiding officers can use or utilize that power if in the event chaos has broken, then they can make that decision and not the cabinet, yes, right. or the interior secretary. But finally, mm. <clears throat> the election general regulations of 2012 is clear. Each political party is allowed to nominate one agent. Again, it goes back to what I said. It is not up to the IBC to curtail the interpretation of that law. Election management and election laws gives the commission all over the world limited discretion. It denies them discretion. Mm -hmm. It's the law, it, as it is in, in the Nene. The Court of Appeal and the Supreme Court on this ballot paper tenders, of course there were different opinions. Yes, the Court yes. of Appeal overruled it. But they were unanimous on one thing. Election is not about convenience, what is convenient to IABC. Mm -hmm. So you cannot say that, oh, the, the polling session will be crowded, mm -hmm. so IABC will have problems. Mm -hmm. It's not about that. Mm -hmm. it, it, they were unanimous that well, if, they, if the Court of Appeal said, if they found evidence of, uh, you know, the, when they were inter interpreting the pub, uh, public, public participation, it didn't matter to them that 
the printing of ballots would commence a week to the election. All it right. is not what is convenient to the IBC, it's what is in the law. But at the same time, I yes. mean, you have, IBC is not saying do, do, we don't want your party agents, it's just saying the number of party agents, yes. maybe there are too many. Isn't that a solid but, argument uh, from IBC? It, it is, mm -hmm. but the law, if Parliament wanted to have it any other way, mm -hmm. they would have provided for it in the law. It is not what they are, it's not, it's the IBC discretion mm -hmm. to make that determination mm -hmm. is what is in the law. Now, where if it is clear that the five or so party agents are unruly, are bribing voters in the queue, are interfering with the voting, yes, the presiding officer can chase them from the polling station. But that determination cannot be made now that they will be unruly All right. or that they will engage in criminal acts. Mm -hmm. The law gives the IBC, the presiding officer at the polling station, substantial powers on election day that even the chairman of the IBC cannot overrule their decision. All right. Yes. Felix, uh, do you think that this adopts a polling station um, plan would sort of like bolster that uh, conspiracy theory, so to speak, about rigging in this election? It's Duncan, Felix is in. Oh, but, sorry, uh, Duncan. <laughs> but uh, to, to the question, I th the, the plan itself is actually to try and, and, and increase transparency mm -hmm. and avoid a botched election, just like Felix says. And the laws are there, mm -hmm. and IBC knows very well. And that is why on this one, they have actually called this particular team to come and discuss so that they look at the practicality around it. The law is there, but you also look at practicality. If it is impractical, it will actually even hinder the main tenets behind that particular law, behind these particular provisions. And that's their, what they are saying. Mm -hmm. And if they can actually arrive at a, a, at a middle ground, the better for all Kenyans. So that where it is practical, you can have all the five agents, fine, it will, it will be. But where it is impractical, mm -hmm. they will explain to them why it is impractical, mm -hmm in these particular areas where you may even have only one candidate, so that your interests can be guided by this one person or even two particular individuals. And that is a discussion that I've always said now and again, that in any of these disputes and issues, such discussions will actually preempt these court issues or even this particular negativity in All terms right. of uh, the, the independence of this particular body. All right. We'll come back to the conversation, but for now, I want to go